the HTC One Mini is a mini phone, or at least that's what HTC wants you to believe, but it's a matter of perspective. The HTC One Mini is still larger than the Apple iPhone 5, Apple's flagship for this year. So in this video, we're going to compare the two and see how they stack up. Let's go take a look. You don't have to be a rocket scientist and you don't have to analyze and compare these two phones too much to realize that a mini phone, the HTC One Mini, is larger than Apple's flagship, the iPhone 5. If we want to be fair and honest, we'd say that the iPhone 5 is the real mini phone among the two. The difference between the iPhone 5 and the HTC One Mini is bigger than the difference between the One Mini and the One. Yes, we have compared the two ones, we reviewed the iPhone 5, we even had an after the buzz and a durability report, so head over to Pocket now for all the details. While you're at it, follow us on social media to be among the first to see when our videos and posts are up. Aside from a fundamental difference that comes down to Android versus iOS, these two phones couldn't be more different. We'll tell you exactly what we're referring to in this comparison, where we are looking at hardware, software and user experience, as well as the camera. Believe it or not, there are also similarities when it comes to the HTC One Mini and the iPhone 5. It's not all about the differences, as strange as it may sound. Aluminum is the main material used in the construction of these phones, paired with glass on the front. The One Mini also adds plastic along the edges, which embraces the aluminum on the back and glass on the front, as well as two inserts on the back. That aside, everything else is different. The iPhone 5 is more square toward the edges and round towards the corners, while the HTC One Mini is tapered along the edges, which makes it feel really good in hand. Precision drilled holes are present on both devices, along the bottom edge on the iPhone 5, front firing top and bottom on the HTC One Mini. And there's a physical home button on the Apple flagship, while the HTC One Mini has two capacitive buttons for back and home. The differences are even more pronounced when we look under the hood, generated by the totally different ways Android and iOS operate. 4-inch IPS LCD screen with 640x1136 resolution on the iPhone 5 for 326 ppi versus 4.3-inch 720p Super LCD 2 display on the HTC One Mini for 342 ppi. Dual-core Apple A6 chip clocked at 1.3 GHz versus a dual-core Qualcomm Snapdragon 400 CPU running at 1.4 GHz. 1 GB RAM on both, 16-32-64 GB of storage on the iPhone versus 16 GB of storage on the HTC One Mini, both non-expandable. 8 megapixel camera versus 4 megapixel camera, 1.2 megapixel front facer versus 1.6 megapixel, 1440 mAh battery versus 1800 mAh pack, and most importantly, iOS 6.1.4, soon iOS 7, versus Android 4.2.2 Jelly Bean with HTC Sense on top of it. Long before iOS started to become boring, and before Android Jelly Bean made the user experience very fluid for Android users, Apple's operating system was considered, by many, the benchmark for speed and fluidity. Now, since Jelly Bean, Android is as fluid as it can get, and, luckily, HTC Sense on the One Mini doesn't bug it down. We'll refer to iOS 6.1.4 in this video, but you should know that iOS 7 will soon be available for the iPhone 5. We've already published a demo of the upcoming OS on the current Apple flagship, so head over to Pocket now to see that. Whether iOS 6 is boring, or just conservative and consistent, is up to you. It also depends on which side you are on. Apple users don't mind it. Android users call it out. So we'll leave that up to you. However, we'll tell you this much. The entire OS and user experience on iOS looks like the app drawer on the HTC One Mini. You've got a grid of 20 icons with four persistent on the bottom, and in a world of widgets and live tiles, it's safe to say that iOS became the most static OS on the market. A drop-down notification shade is there, just like on Android, which you can customize. Its contents can be tweaked to suit your needs and folders can be easily created to organize your apps. Android, on the other hand, has its widgets. On the HTC One Mini, Sense 5 is nicely complementing the OS without being too intrusive. Blinkfeed collects all the information that is important to you across several social media sources and other content providers, while the rest of the home screens can be tweaked to your liking with either stock widgets and icons or free as well as commercial solutions from the Play Store. And, since we're talking about the stores, iTunes and Google Play Store are the two leading content markets today. 
there's absolutely no use mentioning which is the one containing more applications, once you pass a certain threshold, it doesn't really matter. You can find anything on both online markets. We'll have to give it to the HTC One Mini when it comes to the user experience and the sheer pleasure of using the phone. Whether it's Blink Feed, the gallery or the camera interface, the One Mini looks more refined. iOS on the iPhone 5, on the other hand, is more simplistic and, believe it or not, the speaker puts up a decent fight with boom sound on the One Mini. But how do these two compare when it comes to performance? Let's launch some applications. And while we launch them in the background, we'll tell you that it's a tie. With some applications launching faster on the iPhone, others on the One Mini. We're comparing day-to-day -day tasks like social media, Facebook, Twitter, Google+, email, calendar, camera, YouTube, Spotify, Maps, and the like. We'll leave you with the comparisons running in the background. There we go. Now, as far as the camera is concerned, the Ultra Pixel camera still does not deliver. The iPhone 5 is clearly the best shooter among the two, and not because it has double the megapixel rating, but because the shots are sharper, color reproduction is closer to reality, and stills are missing noise, which appears to be present on almost all pictures snap with the One Mini. We're not saying the One Mini is a bad camera, we're saying that it's worse than the iPhone 5. We're letting the sample images do the talking, and you'll be the judge of the camera quality. Surely, they both excel in optimal conditions, bright sunny outdoors, but it's the tricky lighting, shadows, and difficult circumstances that give a fair representation of details and overall camera quality. To draw a conclusion is more difficult than one would think. Aside from the eternal iOS versus Android debate, these two phones are different and behave differently. There's no word on carrier pricing for the HTC One Mini yet. If we compare unlocked prices, the iPhone 5 is more expensive, even if its price will drop once the new iPhone lands in Q3. If budget is your only concern or limitation, then the One Mini is for you. However, if you prefer to look at the overall package and services, you'll have to do some research and see the ecosystem offerings too. After all, we're comparing a flagship, even if almost one year old, with a mid-ranger. Bottom line, you can't go wrong with either phone. Just make sure you can live with mediocre shots if you opt for the HTC One Mini. Everyone, that's gonna do it for today for the HTC One Mini versus Apple iPhone 5 comparison. I've been Anton Dinod, you can follow me on Facebook as well as on Twitter. And if you like this video, please give us the usual thumbs up. Thank you very much for watching, till next time.